This tutorial video is um, designed to show you guys how the very basics of Desmos, how to enter data, how to plot data, um, how to get a line, uh, change some data points, and at the very end show how to calculate slope and how, how you can have Desmos do this for you. Um, so first of all, you're going to go to desmos.com. Um, and then you are going to click start graphing. There's a lot of other functions, but for this class, you're going to, we're going to be using some pretty basic stuff. Um, so first of all, we have our grid here. Um, and then on the left column is our place where we can enter our functions and our data. So if we're just going to be graphing a data from say a lab, you're going to click the little plus sign and click on table. That gives you an X column and a Y column. So this would give you the coordinates that are going to go for the X and for the Y. So if we're doing this in a scientific experiment, this would be your independent variable. And this one would be your dependent variable. Uh, y is always your dependent variable. So I'm just going to put in a couple fake numbers here just to kind of give us going. Um, it's pretty easy to enter the data. And even as I start to enter these, we should start to see some data points starting to plot on there. Um, You'll notice that some of them are out of the screen, but I'll show you how to fix that in a moment. Okay, so I just have six data points here, and I can zoom a little bit out just using my mouse, or you know, you can do a little manually if you got touch screen, you can do that. Um, but let's just say my data is really out there, right? So I got my data. I can't quite get it to fit just the way I want to um, because I don't have my scales on the way I want to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little wrench up here. And it's going to give me lots of things I can do here. Um, so we have our x-axis and our y-axis. All right, so we can hide them if we want to. Um, we could change the type of grid. We can hide minor lines, so you just have that. Um, you can hide the numbers. We're going to keep those things. But I want to make my scale a little bit different, especially for my x-axis. It's all fitting in that tiny spot right there. So for my x-axis, um, my range for my x-axis is from 0 to 5. So right here already, I have my range set up. And it's from negative, basically negative 10 to 31. So I'm going to change that to, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 0 to, say, 6. Because you want to go just above it so it all fits on there. And then I'm going to label that axis. Let's say this is for... Um, uh, a motion lab where we do, let's say this is position in meters. Right. And I can do the same thing for the y-axis. Now, the only thing is my y, my data points for my y-axis do not start at zero, um, but I always want to make sure I include that. So I'm going to start from zero. And my biggest data point is 19. So I'm going to say 22 just so it all fits on there. And I'm going to label that as, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I wanted this to be position. I'm going to make this time. OK, once I do that, I can close that. Just clicking again. And there's my data fits. I can even like, maybe zoom out just a little bit so I can see it all together. But it's a lot cleaner there. So there we go. I can see a lot more of my data. It's a lot better range to do that. So I. Once I've done that, I'm going to need a line. Um, there's two ways to do this. So first I'm going to show if I just want to connect the dots here. So what I'm going to do is over here, if I click this green button here, I can turn, I can hide or show my data. But if I hold down the, hold down the button, I should get this little menu here where I can change the type of points. I can change my color. Uh, in case I have multiple data tables, I can show multiple lines doing this. Um, I have this drag option where I'm going to be able to click and move the data points, but what I'm really looking for here is my line. And again, if I have multiple lines, I can use different kinds of things to distinguish the difference between them, but I have my line. All right, so there is my line, and uh, I have a nice little curve here. I connect the dots, and so I can just click that to be all done. But now the question is, what if I want to have a line of best fit. So maybe this was, I'm expecting a linear relationship and I want this to be a line of best fit. I'm going to have to enter in an, another uh, another equation to do this. I'm going to need a line equation, 
which we know is uh, the equation for a line is y equals mx plus b, uh, where m is obviously the slope, b being the y-intercept. So I'm going to say y, but I'm not going to do equals. I'm going to do the little, uh, oops, little squiggly line. All right. Y1, squiggly line, M, X1, plus B. And what that gives me there is this nice red line, which is a line of best fit given the data. I put the ones there because I'm using data table 1, uh, X, and the data from data table 1, the Y column. If I have multiple data tables, I can make this Y2 and y X2, Y3 x3. Uh, but what I have here, um, here's my y-intercept, this is 6.8, and my slope in this case is 2.14, which would in this case on a position time graph would tell me the uh, the velocity of the individual or of this mo object in motion is going at uh, positive 2.14 meters per second. Um, so if I wanted to say, uh, if I was doing this for a lab report, next thing I'd want to do is take a screenshot. If you're using a Chromebook, it's um, shift control and then the button above the number six, um, which is like a brightness button, but it does the screenshot. Uh, for MacBooks, it's uh, command shift number four. And then you're basically just going to click and drag all the things I want. Notice in my picture, I have obviously the both variables. You can see the word position at the top and time on the bottom right. I have my numbers. I have my, obviously all my data points clicked in there. You should hear a little click and then it will be either saved to your desktop if it's a Mac or saved to your drive if it's a Chromebook. And then from there you can enter it or do what you need to do with it. All right, so that tells you a little bit about how to enter some data, how to, uh, connect the dots, how to change a line, and even make a best fit line and finding the slope. Um, if you have any other questions, just make sure you ask. All right, thank you very much.